Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info, and today we're testing to see if and how well solar power generators really work. And to help us figure this out, the folks over at Van Powers have sent us a set of 200 watt solar panels, along with their Super Power Pro 1500 power station to measure and store the power the panels generate. Now, this isn't a full review of the Van Powers power station, as we are going to be mainly focusing on the solar side of things. However, there are many in depth reviews you can pull up out on the tubes about this product, and spoiler alert, people seem to like it. And just know that while we appreciate the people at Van Powers for providing us with this gear for our test, they have had no influence or editorial control regarding the content of this video. We also don't get anything if you use the included links to these products that are down in the description. They are simply provided for your convenience. Well, how nice. Now, something to keep in mind before we start this test is it's winter time here in the good old Midwestern USA, so it's unlikely that we are going to be able to max out the 200 watts of charge these solar panels are capable of due to the less than ideal angle of the sun in relation to the panels. But since it is unlikely that conditions will always be ideal when you try to tap into the power of the sun, that the results we pull from our testing should still be relevant. After all, people don't just go camping in the summer and power outages can happen anytime. However, if you do wanna see this test rerun during the summer, leave a comment and if enough people do so, we will make that happen. If you find yourself lurking around down in the comments anyway, you may also want to consider giving this video a like and subbing to the channel. I might just do that. So here's how the test is going to go down. Starting at 0% charge, the power station and panels will be placed over here on solar regeneration platform number three. The sun will come up over that hill, cross the sky, and set on the other side of the house, giving us around 11 hours of sunlight, but more importantly, giving us a few precious hours of direct sunlight which when dealing with solar energy is really what matters. Van Powers claim these 200 watt 36 volt solar panels have a conversion efficiency of 23% or higher. So hopefully even in less than ideal conditions, we will be able to pull a pretty decent charge. Also just an FYI, while the solar panels are IP63 water and dust resistant, the power station is not. So while the panels should be able to survive a light rain, be sure to keep the power station itself under cover if there's any chance of precipitation in your forecast. With that said, Let's start the test. Several days later. All right, we have data. Over the past week, we had a lot of rain and otherwise gnarly weather, so gathering of the data was not always easy. The good news is the panel on the front of the power station provides all kinds of useful information, such as the amount of power the panels are pulling down, and based on that power, how long it will take the panels to fully charge the power station's massive 1,440 watt hour battery. So due to the less than ideal conditions that come with winter solar power testing, the greatest amount of charge we were ever able to capture the panels pulling down was 115 watts, leading to an estimated remaining charge time of 16 hours. Now at this point of the test, the station had already reached a charge of 19%. So for the sake of easy math, if we round that 19% up to 20%, we can estimate that while charging at 115 watts, it would take the station around 20 hours to fully charge from zero to 100. What's interesting though, is that even when the solar power input dropped, the extra time to charge the station increased, but not proportionally. This also jives with the numbers we recorded when we started the test. When the power station estimated a total charge time of 25.5 hours at 60 watts of input. Considering all this, I think it is realistic to claim that the Van Power solar generating system we used for this test, indirect sunlight using only solar panels, should be able to charge from 0 to 100% in under 25 hours with the potential to charge substantially quicker in more ideal conditions. Keeping in mind, our test was conducted during the winter season. Now, for those of you out there who are thinking to yourself that 25 or even 20 hours to charge your battery sounds like a long time, you have to remember the size of the battery we are charging and the 1,440 watt hour battery in the Super Power Pro is substantial. Charging my Asus F15 gaming laptop from zero to 100 only drained the battery around 8%. Simultaneously fully charging my Pixel Watch, iPad, Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, and my Galaxy S22 Ultra smartphone only drained the battery 14%, and keeping my 2.6 cubic foot mini fridge and freezer running for 24 hours only drained the battery 50%. To put it another way, the battery in the 1500 power station should be able to charge an average size smartphone battery around 100 times. Assuming it takes 25 hours to charge up the power station's battery using the solar panels means you should be able to store enough power from those panels to fully charge your phone in around 15 minutes, which isn't bad. In fact, that's way faster than you could probably even get that charge into the phone. 
And remember, you can also always charge the power station via the wall, which by the way, if your electrical situation is up to code, can get you a full charge in around two hours, which is kind of nuts. And truth be told, when you are charging from zero, charging from the wall, if available, is probably what you're going to want to do. The solar panels are for when you don't have access to the wall, like when you are camping or during a power outage, to help you keep up with the power you are using on the daily. For example, during a power outage, if you were using 50% of the battery a day and using the solar panels were able to charge the battery 25% a day, you would stretch the battery life of the station from two to four days, which is significant. So at the beginning of this video, we set out to answer if and how well solar power generators work. And I would say they definitely work and work well. At least the system we tested does. Just be aware that a good solar power setup can be a significant investment and the efficiency and prices of these types of systems can vary greatly. So be sure to do your research and invest in a setup that matches your needs and your budget. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.